from Aqua Telford, 2017. I'm Brian Miller, International Sales Manager for Seachem Laboratories based out of Georgia, USA. Um, I'd like to speak today about some of our newest products. Of course, um, we're quite famous throughout the world, over 60 countries, uh, but we'll just talk about some of the new today. So over here, we have coral plugs. These are a new introduction. They're a plug that's quite different than most plugs on the market. They're not plastic or resin. Um, what you'll find is a plug that due to the compound that it's manufactured from will afford your polyps or frags, uptakeable calcium and magnesium. So very quite unique. It will not shrink or deform. And if you look over here, these are the individual plugs. We have them arranged too, that they, just by the design, they can interlock and there's no gaps or spaces. So if you have colonizing polyps, it's really good in that regard. Uh, they come 12 to a pack, very competitively priced. And keep your eye out for some uh, larger plugs very soon by the end of the year available on the market. Next, we have some zip bags, which have a non-corrosive plastic zipper. This uh, regular size will hold up to one liter of filtration media. And when we have a larger size with a little bit larger mesh, and this will hold up to 18 liters volume of filtration media. And to put that into perspective, this jar here is a one liter size jar. So quite large capacity for larger uh, aquatic environments. We do have some algae pads that are quite unique by the structure of what they're made from. Uh, they're really good for uh, pulling algae out of cracks or grooves. Um, really, really good. I have a Tanganyikan tank for years with a scratch in it and nothing I used could uh, pull the algae out of that crack and we were looking at these and it was fantastic. Um, so it comes in a three pack, safe for glass and acrylic. And then we have a duo pad, which you notice has a rough side on one side and then a softer side on the, the back. Um, again, safe for glass and acrylic. We have bulk boxes of these pads and counter display jars. It's a very good uh, seller for your shop. Next, we have a zeolite. Now, zeolite has been commonly available for years and years and years on the market. But we've uh, produced a zeolite that has 10 times binding capacity than anything that's existed on the market. And also, this zeolite will not bind calcium in the saltwater environment. So for the first time, you can actually ponder using a zeolite in a saltwater environment. So again, good for binding uh, heavy metals and, and ammonia in your aquarium. And very competitively priced. And of course, anything Seachem, we have many size formats available. I believe... That is some of the newest, and then of course the tidal filters, we can speak uh, a little bit about the tidal filters here. This is in collaboration with our partner Siccia company in Italy. We've partnered with them, and we have a very, very unique concept here put into reality. And at, at our company, Siccia and, and in Seachem, we're hobbyists. We're lifelong hobbyists. We use equipment, we use things, and we built and designed this from a hobbyist perspective on features that we'd like to see. So over here on the tank, well, we have three sizes. We have the Title 55, Title 75, Title 110, and that is the size aquarium that it's up to. So a 200-liter aquarium, 300-liter aquarium, a 400-liter aquarium. So the concept here is we have all the best of features from a canister filter where you have a filtration, I call it a basket, that in here, they all come with a blue uh, filtration, uh, pre-filter sponge. And they come with uh, appropriate sized amount packet, a bag, filtration bag of matrix biomedia. So you're good right, right out of the box. And then you'll have more than half of this, this filtration basket to employ any types of filtration media you as a hobbyist desire, which we love that as hobbyists. So we're not limited to types of cartridges with poor quality medias. Um, a unique feature of the title is, you'll see here, is a surface intake, surface skimming intake. That is wonderful. Um, that's where, you know, as we know, a lot of debris, films, and organic matter collect on a surface. Of course, you have a bottom intake. Um, that's optional. You can turn the bottom intake completely on or off. The surface intake is always on. And if you look carefully, you will see that the motor and impeller housing are below the water line. So this is wonderful because it's self-priming. Simply plug in, you're good to go. If for some reason you lose power, it comes back on. 
the motor and everything won't burn up or flood. It will simply self-prime and, and start anew. So very, very good. Um, it has an optional heater clip here so you can heat your intake water for better heat dispersion in the aquarium. This master flow here will turn down your flow over 80%. That's actually down and then actually, actually up. And then on the bigger one here, on your middle size, it's a little bit more dramatic on this one. You can see just a trickle flow. So if you have some type of environment where you just need very slow, or you want to pack this full of nit uh, denitrate media and make a, a nitrate reactor, you can do so with the slow flow. Or turn it back up and you want uh, Niagara Falls power, you got it, a lot of power. Um, let's see. We have here, with a flow, when, it, when a flow comes inside, it goes down behind the basket, not into it, and then you have an upward flow. So then the upward flow through the basket and falls out. Uh, one thing I didn't explain in the basket yet is if you look close in here, each intake hole has a raised collar of plastic. So what that means is heavy debris and mat, uh, organic matter will collect in the basket and not fall down into the unit itself. So a long-term advantage. Uh, there we go. Now, there's some more, some more features here that are quite quite interesting and functional. Most of the time in real life, we don't know if this uh, filter needs servicing. Maybe it's getting impacted full of debris and matter and it needs some maintenance. Real life happens and a lot of times us as hobbyists or our customers may not notice and then unfortunately the filter would, uh, maybe the impeller or motor would jam up or burn or maybe a flood. We've all had the floods. <laughs> um, well, this won't happen here with your title. If this inside the media basket needs servicing and becomes impacted, behind the basket in the wall of the unit itself is a channel where water can flow and fill up this small reservoir here. And immediately sitting above that small reservoir is a service indicator, which the wa rising water will then float it up. So now we have a visual indicator. Oh, we got to do something. We got to clean this aquarium. And then the overflow from that small reservoir will come to this bigger chamber and out a hole here. So you have a safety overflow and another visual indicator. So, so here we go. Here's my, I have fun with this part. Normal scenario, this is, I'll speak for myself as a hobbyist, but I think maybe a lot of my fellow brothers and sisters in the hobby might be the same way. I'm quite reactive. If I'm in my house and I see that service indicator pop up, oh, I go right to the filter. I don't think about getting a towel or a bucket like I should. So the service indicator pops up. Oh, I have to, I need to do something here. So of course, when we pull this up, you get a big flow of water initially, but you have layers of media. So this is going to drip for many minutes. So then normally what's the routine is like, oh, I'm running to the sink. And my, my lovely wife says, don't get that on the carpet. You're ruining my carpet. Blah, blah, blah. So we thought of this. We thought of this. It's a real world solution to a real world <laughs> issue. So when you pull this up, there's two little indentation or um, pieces of plastic here that are raised. You can simply put the basket on and now walk to the sink because it's a drip tray. Now we're walking. We're, I'm not going to trip on the dog and my wife's not going to yell at me. The carpet is safe. And Christmas time, she'll say, yes, you can have another aquarium. So it's great for the hobby. So a drip tray, that's a really good feature. Now, if you're in a hurry, of course, you don't have to put them on there. You can just, you still have a tray. So very functional. There's, a, there's some more, just a couple more bits. <laughs> we'll put that there. Um, on the side here, there is a leveling screw with a... You'll see here, and there's a rubber O-ring on the other side of the screw, so it'll protect the glass or acrylic. So you have adjustments along here for the width of the aquarium, and then here the leveling screw, so you can level the unit. There is a three-year warranty on the product, but it can go up to a five-year warranty if you register the product on, online at seachem.com. Then you get a five-year warranty on the unit, which is the industry leading as far as uh, protecting you as a customer. So you'll find again three sizes, very versatile, offers all the ease and convenience and access of a hang-on filter, 
combined with many of the advantages of having a uh, canister filter, where us as hobbyists have the versatility to put any types of media that we like. So, so versatile for many situations. You can put on behind the aquarium, but if you have a brace here, you can put on the side. Or if you have braces all around, we have many, many customers here in the UK and many other countries that are using the, employing the tidal filters down on the sump. And then we have a lot of people putting them on the sump as well and turning the flow all the way down and putting denitrate media in and have a nitrate reactor. So many, many purchase, uh, purposes, many ways to use this, very versatile, um, very hobby friendly because us as hobbyists uh, got together with Seachem and designed this. So. Uh, so there you go. From Seachem and Seachem Company are the new Tidal filters, and there will definitely be more to follow in the futures. Okay, our next product that is new this year is Vibrant Sea Reef Salt. And this is uh, definitely developed in co with our salinity from Aqua Vitro, which is quite famous as an anhydrous salt with very consistent guaranteed batch analysis. We produced Vibrant C as well on the Seachem Ed on the side. This is an anhydrous salt, has increased levels of potassium, and a very, very competitive price. You'll find a very advantageous price, production, and value on Vibrant C. And again, this is an anhydrous component salt, very, very consistent parameter mixing for a customer. So we have two sizes. We have a 6.2 kilo box that produces 227 liters. And then we have a 23 kilo box that produces 830 liters. Again, inside is a heavy gauge plastic bag that's resealable in two sizes. And then if you have a bulk operation, operational use, uh, we have a 970 kilo super sack bag. It comes on one pallet, produces nearly 45,000 liters of water. So this is Vibrant C, new to the market this year, and it's growing nicely, really good feedback and results from the customers. Of course, we tested and used for many years ourselves. So definitely keep an eye on for Vibrant C. So in conclusion, the Tidal filters, Vibrant C, and the Seachem range and Aqua Vitro range, um, definitely inquire with Antinia and Montpellier. Antinia is our distributor for France and they can supply you on all the products that we've mentioned today. So thank you very much, and we look forward to seeing you in France again soon. So merci beaucoup.